Hi everybody, thanks for joining me for another virtual story time. My name is Miss Johanna and I have some fun books picked out today. Pretty much just about going on adventures, having fun. So before we get started, what do we have to do? We have to sing our opening song. So let's put our hands up, let's open them up really, really wide to wake those fingers up. Okay, are you ready? All right. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Now creep them, creep them, slowly creep them them right up to your chin 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 open wide your little mouth <gasps> but do not put them in now shake them shake them shake them shake them shake them just like this 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 Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them, and blow a little kiss. Mwah! Oh, good job. All right. So, our first story is called Penguinot. He's a penguin and an astronaut. How cool is that? And this book was written by Marcy Colleen, illustrated by Emma Yarlett, and we're reading it with permission from Orchard Books. All right. Penguinot. Orville was small. He's a penguin. His friends were big. What animal does it look like he's friends with? An elephant, maybe? And their adventures were even bigger. Orville longed for big adventures, too. They're flying, they're going in the ocean, it's crazy. One day, he announced his plans for the biggest and best adventure yet. <gasps> Ta-da! Orville's big adventure to the moon! Oh my goodness, all the way up there? Is that a good idea? But Orville, you're so small! And the moon is so far away. I can do this myself, Orville flippered out. He tried to flap, kerplop. He tried to climb, whack. He tried to catapult, fling, and landed in the reptile house. Orville was pretty sure the bow constrictor was not trying to hug him. <gasps> Ouch. Still, Orville kept trying. He borrowed from the zookeeper. He nicked from trash cans. He built and built. What does it look like he's building? I think it's a rocket ship. And with a shake, shake, shake of a half-filled soda bottle, the ship was ready for liftoff. Eureka! It was perfect and perfectly penguin-sized. With a trembling flipper salute, he took his place at the controls. Three, two, one. I can do this myself. Blast off. Whoosh, the ship zipped through the night sky, through clouds and over stars and straight to the moon. Orville landed, bump, kerplump, kaboom. His stomach felt queasy. His spacesuit felt squeezy. Now that he'd made it, what would he do? He took a small step. He hopped, did a little dance, and tripped. Whoops. Tumble, bumble, ba boy. He somersaulted with stars, cartwheeled over craters, and giggled for all the galaxy to hear. It was the biggest and best adventure yet. I'm doing it myself, he cheered, but his tiny voice was swallowed up into the starry blackness. Orville stopped. 
he was all alone. His stomach grew queasier. His spacesuit grew squeezier. He shivered and a note fell out of his pocket. You're our penguinot. We know you can do this. He missed his friends. So Orville closed his eyes tightly and imagined they were there. When he was safely back in his ship, he looked toward home. He couldn't wait to tell everyone about his big adventure. Sure, Orville's friends were big. Now the proud Penguinot felt big too. But biggest of all, being together was out of this world. Three, two, one. I think they're all gonna go to the moon now. The end. Good job. That was a sweet little story about going on adventures and not giving up. So let's do a little song about um, going on an adventure. And it has five little ducks in it. So can you hold up five fingers? And those are gonna be your five ducks, all right? So it goes like this. Five little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but only four little ducks came back. <gasps> Can we count them? One, two, three, four. <gasps> four little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but only three little ducks came back. Three little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but only two little ducks came back. Two little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but only one little duck came back. Ready to sing it one more time? Maybe two more times? One little duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but this time no little ducks came back. Oh no! So what's gonna happen? Well, sad mother duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 quack. And all of her babies came back. Can we count them? One, two, three, four, five. All five little ducks came back. Yay! Good counting and good singing. Thank you for singing along. All right. Should we do another story? This one's also about going on an adventure with your friends, starring two of my favorite friends, Elephant and Piggy. And this is called Let's Go for a Drive, written by Mo Willems. And we read it with permission from Mo Willems and from Hyperion Books for Children. All right, are you ready? Let's go for a drive. <gasps> Piggy, I have a great idea. Let's go for a drive. <gasps> That sounds fun. <gasps> drive, drive, drivey, drive, drive. Wait! <gasps> if we are going on a drive, we need a plan. <gasps> a plan? First, we need a map. I have a map! Get that map! You cannot go for a drive without a map. This is true. I have the map! Drive, drive, drivey, drive, drive, map, map, mappy, map, map. Wait! It might be sunny while we drive. We need sunglasses! I have sunglasses! Get those sunglasses! 
bringing sunglasses on a drive is smart planning. I have the sunglasses! Doesn't she look cool in her sunglasses? <gasps> drive, 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 drive. Sunglasses, sunglasses, sunny sun, sunglasses. Wait! <gasps> it might rain while we drive. We need umbrellas! I have umbrellas! Get those umbrellas! <gasps> Make a plan and stick to it is what I say. I have the umbrellas! Drive, drive, drivey, drive, drive. Umbrellas, umbrellas, umbrelly, umbrellas. Wait! We have so much stuff to pack. Look at all the stuff they have. Maps and sunglasses and umbrellas. We need bags. I have bags. Get those bags! You cannot go wrong with a good plan. Oof! Oh, I have the bags. Oh my goodness, look at all those bags. Drive, drive, drivey, drive, drive. Bags, bags, baggy bag bags. Wait! There will be a lot of driving on our drive. We need a car! Hmm. I said... We need a car! Hmm? Hmm? Um, do you have a car, Piggy? No, I am a pig. A pig with a car would be silly. Do you have a car? I do not have a car. Oh no! We have everything we need for our drive. Accept a car! Our plans are ruined! Does he look very sad? Oh no. What are we going to do now? Whoa. We could play pirate. Who needs plans when you have a pig for a pal? Arg. The end. Good job. That was a fun story. I love Elephant and Piggy. All right. Well, thanks for coming to Virtual Storytime. I will see you guys next time. We have to do our goodbye song before we go. Wave high. Wave low. I think it's time we got to go. Wave your elbows and wave your toes. My toes are way down there. Wave your tongue bleh, and wave your nose. Wave your knees and wave your lips and blow a kiss with your fingertips. Wave your ears, wear your ears and wave your hair and wave your belly and your derriere, that's your bottom. Wave your chin and wave your eyes and wave your hands and say goodbye. Thanks for coming, have a great day.